Hello again, boys and girls. How are you today? The other day, we spent some time talking about living and non-living things. So look at this picture. Hmm. Can you point to the thing in these pictures that is living? Good job. Can you point to the thing in this picture that is not living? You are right. A rock is not alive. A rock does make not make more of itself. A rock does not need air to breathe. It does not need food for energy, and it certainly does not grow. So this got me thinking about our ducks. Right now, some of our eggs have a, did you remember what it's called? A pip. That means that the duckling made the first tiny hole in its egg, and now it's gonna work to make it bigger, and then it's gonna push with its head and push with its feet, and out it will come. But what are our ducklings gonna need once they hatch? Hmm. So I thought maybe we'd listen to a story to see if that would help us figure out what our ducklings will need. So I want you to pay special attention to the story that we're going to read because it's going to give you some good ideas of things that our duckling might need. And when we're all done with the story, I'm going to ask you to write some of those ideas down. This story is called What People and Animals Need by Laura Maurer. And this story is nonfiction. What or not fake? What clues do you have, even on the front cover, that this story might be nonfiction? Did you say it uses real photographs? Great job. So let's read, and I bet some of you could read this with me. What people and animals need. What do people and animals need? Let's find out. Oh, I just made a connection, did you? That reminds me of our magazines. Let's see what they need. People and animals need food. Food is what gives us energy. We all need air too. Everyone needs air. Oops, everyone needs to breathe. We all need water to drink. Some animals live in water. We all need shelter to stay safe. Shelter is a safe place to live. Wasn't that a short story? So that story gave me some ideas. Did it give you some ideas of what will our ducklings need once they hatch? So your job for today, besides tuning in now and then to see if we have any duckling friends, is to draw and label the things that you think our ducklings will need when they hatch because they cannot stay in the incubator. So what am I gonna need to do? What three things am I gonna have to find that our ducklings may need as living things?